Yeah, That's the reason they come out with new Bibles and stuff, Brother David. Right. But they never thought they never got smarter than Jesus. That's right. Come Amen. On. Come on. Honey, this thing is start. This thing's been around a long time. It's just proved itself. That's right. Amen. It's come proved on. it to yeah. me. Amen. Yeah. This is what I'm going to use the old fashioned King James right. 1611 Bible. Get me home. Amen. Well, come hang on, on to the, yeah. the true Word of God. Amen. That's right. I don't like it when they start taking away from it. Amen. That's right. And I don't like it when they start adding to it. Amen. Right. I want what God has. As, as far as man's life, life to write down his word. Amen. Come on. That'll get me home. Come on, say it. Amen. And that's what we got to hang on to, honey. This thing is about to wrap up. We better get something that we can hang on to. That's right. Amen. Right. We better get our foundation straight. Amen. We better get built, be built upon that rock. Amen. That's right. If we're building on anything else, we're going to fall. Amen. Right. If you're building your life on these new versions, you're going to fall. Come you on. better get on something that just do it, that just proves itself. Amen. Yeah. That, 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 that stood the test through the days. Amen. This thing's been around a long, long time. Amen. Come and it's going to be around forever. That's it, brother. Wow. His word. That yeah. heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word yeah. is going to stand. Amen. Amen. It's yeah. going to stand. When all the preachers are gone uh, uh, and different folks are gone on, it's still on. going to be here. Amen. Yeah. When all these churches are gone on that don't believe in no faith, the word of God, it's going to be here. Amen. It's going to be here. Amen. In the beginning. Right. It was here in the beginning, it's going to be here in the end. Come brother. On. It's going to be here that's forever and ever and ever and ever. Right. Amen. Right. And we better build our life on something that's, that's going to last. That's Come on. Fine. Amen. If you're building your life on something eternal that's not eternal, yeah. it ain't going to last. Come on. Yeah. That's it. But see, his word's going to be here forever, so it's eternal. So if we build on that, we can, we, we can go right along with it. Amen. Oh, Amen. I'm going to live forever someday. Come on. Somewhere. Come on. And you are. We're going to live forever someday. Right. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Amen. And it all depends what we build our foundation upon. Yeah. Well, we're trusting Him. Amen. Amen. I believe we're in the last days, Brother David. I believe this thing is wrapping up. Amen. <laughs> Jesus is getting ready to come back. People right. are fighting more battles and more trials than they ever fought before in their life. Yeah. I don't know why. Amen. 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 And I hear people talking every day, and it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse yeah. and worse. Then I like people talk about the, the, the backs are just getting up against the wall. Amen. Yeah. But when, when the storms of life come, what are we going to do? Yeah. Come on. Trust what are we going to do? All we can do, Brother Billy, is trust Him. Come on. Amen. All we can do is put our faith in Him. Right. Put our trust in His Word. Amen. Put, put our trust in what He said He'd do that He would do. Amen. And we'll put our faith in Him yeah. and trust Him. That's it, brother. Y'all, I know y'all know the story in the 16th chapter Acts about Paul Silas when they was in prison. Right. Yeah. Amen. The back was against the wall, Brother Billy. That's Amen. Right. They, they fighting probably one of the hardest storms ever fought. They done been beaten. Yeah. They told in prison. Yeah. Amen. But at midnight, mm -hmm. what they do? So they, didn't, they didn't sit down and have no pity party I'm on. because the storm was coming. They just decided the, storm, the battle's here. They didn't beat me. They didn't throw me in prison. But still, I'm going to trust you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to start praising you. Amen. I'm going to start praising you. Honey, we're going to make up our minds no matter what the storm comes, what kind of battle we're going through, that we're going to trust him. Amen. He's still worthy to be praised. Yeah. I don't care what the devil throws at me. He's still worthy to be lifted up. Amen. He's still worthy to be praised tonight, yeah. no matter what's going on in your life. Amen. Come on. True. It ain't all in the feelings. I love feeling him, Brother Bill. But I've been through some battles here lately where I didn't feel it. Yeah. But I still got to trust him. Amen. On, I got to still put my hope in him. Amen. Because that's, that's the only hope we got is put our trust in him. Come on. And that's what Paul told you. That's it, brother. Amen. Even though I've been beaten. Yeah. And, 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 and locked up in prison. Come on. I put your trust in him. Yeah. Come on. And because it did, the Bible says that old head jailhouse started rocking. Yes, Come on. Sir. Amen. And it come to all pictures. And the keeper of the jail got saved. Yeah, Come on, yeah. yeah. You know, and, and sometimes when I read that, I was like, I was like look at Paul's eyes. in prison. These are men of God. Right. Yeah. But they wasn't the ones that was in prison. Come on. That old keeper that didn't know the Lord, yeah. he was the one that was in prison. Come on. And when Paul saw it start crying out, and that jail house started rocking, honey, he got his life right to God. Hey, man, that, that, sometimes we get in situations the Lord allows us to get in a situation not just for us. That's right, oh. brother. Amen. Oh. Sometimes it's for somebody else. You got it. Yeah. Amen. Last night, I could not sleep. 2.30 this morning, Brother Billy, I rushed over and I picked up that computer and I clicked it on on Facebook. Yeah. And I had much more than clicked it on. And I come a prayer request. Yeah. Praise the See, sometimes you can't sleep because somebody needs prayer. That's right. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes God has got something laid out, amen. 
that somebody that's needing a touch in the midnight hour. I mean, they can't get a hold of nobody. Amen. Yeah, right. Didn't want to call nobody to wake them up. But when they seen that little green light, come on by my name. Amen. On. They knew that there was somebody that was up that was good to pray. Amen. And they, and they, and they mentioned me and we prayed. Praise Amen. Yeah. See, sometimes we get in, in situations and I thought, well, the, the, the devil fight me, I can't sleep. Yeah. See, sometimes God's going to hurt me. That's it. And sometimes, Brother Billy, he just wants to talk to me. Come on. Amen. Amen. A lot of times you think you can't sleep. Well, he just wants to talk to you. Yeah. Amen. Come on. He just wants you to spend a little time with him. Amen. Because you don't, you don't been too busy all day long. And you had your TV on. on. And had your computer on. on. Had your phone on. Had his on. Now Now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nothing going on. So now I get his attention. Maybe, oh. maybe he'll listen to me a little bit now. If I stir you up in, and if I wake you up after he's dead sleep, maybe he'll listen to me. Right. Come on. Amen. All right, brother. I thank God for them moments. Amen. 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 We're going to go through some trials. We're going to go through some battles. But what's going to matter is how we're going to stand, Brother David. Right. Are we going to stand like Paul and Silas did? Or are we going to just fall away? Yeah. Come on. Come on. What are we going to turn back to? There's nothing to turn back to. That's right. Amen. I believe Jesus, I believe it was asked Peter one time. Said, uh, will, you, will you go away also? And he said, yeah. where will I go? Yeah. You alone Come on. have the gift of eternal life. Amen. Come on. You alone. We ain't got no place to go back to, Brother David. We gotta hang on to him, amen. Come on. There was a woman who had just a little bit of meal. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And just a little bit of oil. Come on. And she was gonna they, she was gonna bake her a little cake right. for her and her son, and they was gonna die. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Now this woman back was against the wall. That's right. Amen. But she said she was gonna trust the man of God. Yeah. And give the man of God. His share. His little cake first. Right. Let him eat first. And because she did, Brother David, right. the meal barrel never, never run dry. Right. The crude oil never run out. Come honey, on. sometimes people talk about not wanting to give God's help. Honey, if that woman had to give, honey, she'd have died. Amen. On, we better learn to give. Amen. We better be willing to, to plant that seed. Right. See, what, what are we going to do? What are we going to do when it comes to our house? Right. We're going to eat the cake and die, or are we going to give? Come on. All right. Amen. Are we going to eat our seed, or are we going to plant our seed? Come Amen. On. We, we want to harvest you. You ain't going to get no harvest if you plant a seed. Amen. 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 But her, this woman's back was against the wall. Yeah. Last meal. Down to our final supper. Come on. Yeah. But she chose to trust God. Amen. Honey, that's what we got to get. We better make up our mind who we're going to trust. That's right. Brother. Who we're going to put our trust in. Amen. Come there were four old leopard men outside of a gate. Yeah. Absolutely. And said one to another, why sit we here until we die? Yeah. yeah. If we go in the city, they'll kill us. There's a phantom in the land, we're going to starve to death. Yeah. But all of a sudden, they decided to get up and move. Yeah. And when the very moment they take the Bible says that they got up and moved to twilight. Yeah. And the very time that they decided to get up and move, God moved. Come oh, on. Right. It made the enemy hear. Army. Yeah. Coming at you. Amen. And they fled and give them the camp. Four yeah. men. Come on. Come on. Come on, say it. Amen. Right. Because they decided not to sit there, Brother Bill. Come on. Amen. Yeah. Their back was against the wall. That's it. Amen. Amen. They thought, well, if I go here, I'm going to die. If I go here, I'm going to die. If I stay here, I'm going to die. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna die no matter what. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But they got up. See, sometimes when our back gets against the wall, we need to get up. That's right, brother. Amen. Yeah. We start, need to start moving. They started moving. Yeah. And they started making a little noise, Brother Billy. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes we're too quiet. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes we've got to get up and start moving and making a little noise. Amen. Yeah. And, 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 and the enemy heard that noise and the fled. Amen. The enemy didn't hear it before me coming. Come on, say it. The enemy heard a whole army. Yeah. Coming. Come on. Woo. See, when the devil just don't just hear you. Right. When you get serious, brother Billy, when we really, really, when we really, really, really get true serious with God, come on, come on, amen. He ain't just hearing this little old country boy named Bill. Come on, amen. He's hearing something that's coming from the throne of God. Come on, amen. There's something that's going to move, amen. He, he, he starts worrying, starts trembling, amen, and, and he's ready to give it all back to you. Yeah, say it. Come on. But their wall, their back is against the wall. They're ready. Absolutely. To turn down. Yes, sir. And then there were three Hebrew boys. Yeah. Oh. They done passed the law. Told them when you hear this music, I want you to bow yeah. to our God. Yeah. But they said, we ain't going to do it. Come on. You know, nowhere else in the Bible, you know, when I was reading that, I didn't find nobody else that did. Yeah. 
It don't say nothing about, nothing about nobody else that didn't bow. Yeah, that's true. But there were three boys. Yeah. Their back was against the wall. Yes, Come on. sir. Yeah. They had a choice to make. Right. They could bow and live, or they were going to be told to bark. Come on. That's it, brother. They could bow to their God. Absolutely. But they decided they're going to trust their God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Then we're not going to bow. Right. He said, our God is able. Uh, yeah. But even if he don't, yeah. I'm going to trust him. Come on. Amen. Even if he don't, Brother David, I'm going to trust him. Amen. When your back gets against the wall and it don't look like no hope and you don't think you're going to make it uh, another step, amen, you're going to have to say, you're going to have, we're going to have to get that kind of faith, amen. Yeah. We're going to have to believe God is able Deliver me. But even if he don't, don't I'm going to yeah. serve him. Amen. Oh, I'm yeah. going to trust him. I'm going to go with him all the way. Amen. Because I know that I know that I know that I'm a winner either way. Yeah. If, he, if he heals me here below or takes me home, yeah. I'll have my Jesus. He's back today. Yeah. I'm a winner either way. But we, we got to get that faith in us. Amen. Come on. When our back gets the wall, right. we're still going to trust him. Right. I believe there's going to be times that if this world hangs on very much longer, Brother David. It's going to come just like a figure he worked for it. Amen. Yeah, true. And I believe that's what's happening over here now. Yes, sir. It is, yeah. Amen. Amen. they got to make a choice. Right. Come on. They're either going to be bow or cut their heads off. That's right. Or throw them in the bar or whatever they do that's to it. them, man. Amen. Hang them. Hang them. Yeah. Amen. Whatever we want to. we got to get that kind of faith, church. Yeah, come on. Who, who are we really putting our trust in? What are we going to do when our back gets against that wall? Yeah. What are we going to do, Sister Rachel, when they say, you're either going to deny Christ, take that or I'm going to take this little boy? Yeah. That's going to be a hard choice for me. Mm. Oh, but we better get to faith mm. that we know that God is able yeah. Yeah. to deliver it. Amen. 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 And put our trust in Him. Yeah. It could come to that, yes. church. Yeah. It could come to that very quick. Right. Amen. Just like he threw Hebrew rewards at the back of the wall. Yeah. Even Jesus back got uh -huh. against the wall. Come on. Yeah. When he got to the garden, Brother Billy, his back got against the wall. The Bible said he was sweating great drops of blood, even unto death. He thought he was going to die. In the yeah. And he had a purpose. Come on. That he had to compass. Yeah. He had to make it to Calvary. Right, I'm on. But his back was against the wall. Right. And he said, Father, it's not my will, but, but thy will. will. Amen. Done. That's what we got to get when our back gets against the wall. Lord, whatever your will is in my life. Come on. Amen. I, 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 just like me tonight, I don't want to leave this world, brother, but I ain't no hurry about going. Yeah. Amen. But whatever his will is. All right. That's what I want. Whatever yes, his sir. will is. Amen. I want to serve him with everything I got. See, he knows what's going to happen to me down the road. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Yes. And a lot of people say, well, you know, this I was a young man down here in Calhoun, 33 years old. Went to work a couple weeks ago, I guess it was now. Yeah. And was working on a semi truck. And that truck fell on him. Yeah. And took his life. Yeah. 33 years old. Yeah. And as far as I've known, I've talked to a lot of people, he was a good Christian man and stuff. But as far as I've talked to other people and stuff, this man didn't have a thing in the world wrong with him for a bit. Nothing. And somebody called it him as a horse. So you don't have to be sick. Yeah, I'm all. To leave here. That's right, brother. No, that's true. You don't have to be sick to leave here, but you better be ready. Come on. You better be ready. Right. Amen. Because we don't know, brother David. We don't know from one minute to the next when we're going to leave here. We don't know what we're going to have to face in this life. We, we face battles and trials all the time. We don't know what we're going to face. But we know that we better be ready. Amen. But I'm not promised my next breath. I may not make it home tonight. Amen. That, 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 young, that young man we went up to the funeral home for a while ago. He went over to Davis County House building. He was having a little trouble breathing and stuff. And they said, well, said, you ain't had a heart cap in so long that, that we won't run the heart, another heart cap on you. Dr. Mercer did. So they took him down to run the hard cap on him. He didn't have no blockage and stuff. They, and they, he was laying there in his bed. And they told him, well, so we, we need to get you up and walk him before you go home. So they walked him around the nursing station. I don't know, two or three times, whatever she said. But, and then the last time he started around, he got about halfway around it. Felt a pain in his side. Fell over dead. The blood clot went 
what they've done in heart camp, I guess, yeah. to his heart, which I can't hear, that we don't know. Yeah. He was ready to jump, go on. He said, thought he was doing good. You never know. Mm, yeah. Church, you better be ready to meet the yes, Lord. Sir. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew 24 and 13, he that endure to the end shall be saved. So we got some enduring to do. Amen. Okay. We got some battles to go through. We got some trials to go through. We got times that our back going to be against the wall. Right. I'm all but we're going to have to endure the trial. Exactly. We're going to have to endure the battles, brother. brother. We're going to have to put our trust in Him and hang on to Jesus. I yes. mean, don't let go of that nail scarred hand. No matter how hard the trials come, how bad the battles come, hang on to Him. Maybe put our trust in Him. Yeah. Honey, we, well, that's the only thing we got to trust in is Him. He is our foundation. He's the one we're going to get through. Amen. Yeah. Paul said, Press toward tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. In a high calling. Christ Jesus. Come on. Press toward tomorrow. Press. So we're going to have to press our way through. All right. If we're going to make it, we're going to have to press in. That's it. Amen. Bro. We're going to have to trust Him. We're going to press in. Amen. When our back gets against the wall, we're going to have to press in. Amen. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Come on. It's very important. I know. I know why I'm going to say this. I know a couple tonight, several years ago, it, well, five or six years ago, I guess, I don't know how many, exactly how many years ago, they come against a church and they come against a man of God. And ever since that thing happened, they've lost their kids, they've lost their home, they've lost their marriage, they're in and out of jail, both of them. They said, touch not my anointing. Do my prophet no more. <coughs> Honey, it's, we better watch what we're doing. Yes, sir. I don't know why I'm even saying this, but I, I'm telling you, church, you don't come against God. Right. Amen. Yeah, that's true. Amen. You don't touch His anointing. Even if you don't agree, even if I don't agree with Brother Billy, I'm not touching that anointing. Amen. Right. I, I may not understand it. I may not agree with it because right. I may not know what He knows. Amen. I, amen. Maybe the Lord ain't showed me what He showed Him. Amen. Right. We better not have touched that anointing. That's the truth. Because when you right. touch that anointing, you're living dangerous. Right. You're living awful dangers. Amen. I ain't saying that they can't turn their life around, but I believe they can. I believe they can forgive them. Yes. I don't. I don't think that that they turn them over to wrap them back to mind and then that stuff. But I think they can. They can still be get forgiven and get back to the Lord. Yeah. But they better. That's right. Because they're in table shape today, and it all started from coming against God. That's where it started. That's where the seed started. Up till then. There wasn't all the trail. Wasn't all in back. Come on. To right. that point. When they broke that point right there. Yeah. Hell has been coming against them. Amen. The Lord has opened the gate to them. Yes. Amen. Tuck the heads out around them. Yeah. Amen. Church, we better watch what we're doing. That's right. Even when your back gets to this wall, you better yeah. trust God. That's right. Trust Him with everything you've got. Come Amen. On. We ain't going to make it otherwise. That's right. You cannot make it without Him. Come on. You can't make it on your own. Amen. Money won't get you there. Right. Fancy home won't get you there. Fancy uh -huh. car won't get you there. Working seven days a week won't get you there. No. You better trust Jesus with yeah. everything you've got. Amen. 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 He'll fly our days, brother Daddy. Right. Anyway. Amen. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Yeah. And everything else we took care of, brother. Right. Everything else we had to do. That's his right. promise. Amen. Yeah. And I'm standing on his promise tonight. Amen. Come on. So when your back gets against the wall, trust Jesus. Right. Trust Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's what the Lord gave me. Now give the Lord every word. Oh,